How you doing today? Bilsif here. Well, I want to make some wheel chocks for the old trailer ski. Um, I wanted the ones that went between the tires and you tighten them up and locks the wheels, which are, you know, really good ones, right? But uh, we ain't spending that kind of money on wheel chocks. Why the hell would I do that for? I'm Vilsa, the cheap son of a bitch, remember? So I picked myself up a piece of four by four, and I'm gonna build two a wedge that goes in between the tires, so you just drive over it and it locks them in. Hey, how simple is that? We'll put some rope through them there so you can pick them up, and uh, well, it's your uncle. And then I want to make, hopefully, I have enough wood left, but I want to make a permanent front stand for it, eh? Permanent front stand. Instead of using little pieces of wood here and there. I'll slide the battery over, and I'll be able to store it right on there. Hey, what do you think? Think it's going to work out? We're going to find out, boys. So, let's get rolling here. Let's get a rolling here. Why wouldn't we? The first thing we got to do is wire up the wheel skis, eh? Oh, I kind of wish that piece of wood wasn't there right now, boys. I'm going to have to measure it, I think. Why the hell wouldn't I have to measure it? What's really going on? So, by the looks of her, we'll do a measurement here, we will. So, we want a wedge to be two feet. Two feet, I say. So, if we start off at two feet, which is 24 inches, eh? So, we'll cut that, we will, on the old vrum vrum, eh? On the old vrum vrum. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, boys. Think the old whippersnapper is going to go all the way through a 4x4? Four four? We're going to find out, aren't we? So we'll cut two of these. There's one, eh? There's one. Slide this across here, like so. There she is, boys, right there. So there we go. We've got two of them we do. So now what we need to do is we need to set her in here. Like so. And the wedge is there, and the wedge is there. So, we'll go here, and we'll go here. So let's just measure that, see how good I am. Four inches, and four inches. Holy boys. I'm not kidding you, look at this. It's just over four inches, hey? Well, look at this side. Just over four inches. Frick me, I'm good, eh? Friggin' right I am. So now what we need to do, you take this bad boy. Okay, it was all cockeyed and crooked. Can you see me? Can you see it? So, we'll need to crank this all the way over. That should be good right there, actually, boys. Hey, okay, that should be good. Let's try her. There's one. There's my wedge, boys. One wedgy wedgy. This would be real easy to do this one. <laughs> Tell you one thing, that chop saw is the best goddamn thing. Known to man. Best saw ever right there, boys and girls. Freaking great it is. There we go. Oh yeah, boys. By the time you put pressure on those wheels. She might be too tight but you'll be close. Friggin' right it will be. I wanna take a little bit off, but I'm not sure if I should. What do you think? Try him first. I'll take a little bit off. Take just a short drill bit, eh? Just a short one. And we'll drill a couple holes through her. Battery's dying. Battery's dying. boys let's do wedgies okay so now what we need to do is I want to make my front thing I do let's see how much we got here we want to make sure it fits in the rack we do so the rack is seven and three quarters what did I say seven and three quarters there it is seven and three quarters boys Here we 
we go. Check that out. It's gonna be awesome. Frig yeah. So now what I need to do is take another drill bits. Can't find the extension, boys. So we're hand beating it. Here we are. Now I gotta drill holes in it like that so I get a long enough screw to hold it together. Oh. I don't like hand bombing at all. I got carpal tunnel, the old wristy I do. I'm only 20 minutes into this. That's not bad, eh? You guys are gonna be about seven minutes into her. Why wouldn't you? Oh, hey. Frig. This one's went crooked. Why wouldn't it? Too much like work, boys. There we go. It's pretty solid. Let's go see how high up it is. Got quite a bit of cock on there. So we probably go out one more, but if I get in a low spot, then she's no good. So you know what I'll do? I'll put a piece of flat on her. I'm gonna use a piece from the jack, and I'm just gonna put her across I am. Freaking right I am. Just like that, boys. So I'll zoom in here. There she is. Perfect stand for the Jag. Now let's see if it fits, eh? Will it fit in the trailer is the next thing. Let's go find out if it fit. Gonna have to slide the old battery over. So what I'm hoping for is for this to fit in here. To store my block. Look at that, boys. Hey, Friggin' right I did. There, now I have my block for my front. Then I can store there instead of taking up storage in the trailer. Put a ratchet strap around that. Freaking right. It's perfect. Might even spray paint it. So she's black. Hey, let's do that right now. Use some of the old uh, RC boat paint, I will. You ever seen somebody go through this much trouble just for a stand for the trailer? Hey? called organization. There. Look at that, boys. Flat blackie, eh? Flat blackie. I'm gonna take a break for a minute, get a drink. Hey, boys, I got daring. I took the weight off her. Hey, okay? took the weight off her. Just on the jack stands right now. I wanted to try out my block idea. Look at that, boys. That's awesome. I even have the bungee cord for it. So I just jack her up, set her in there, bungee her up, ready to go. Never have to use these little chunks and chip pieces again, hey? Eh? Don't have to store these in my storage compartment anymore. Frig no. God, I love fabricating stuff up so it makes it look professional. Now I just need some string for my things. It's nice under here, look at this. Just fucked them, didn't I? Hey, so good, junk, hey, junk. So you throw them out when I'm done. All the weight's off the tire on this side, and all the weight's on the front of the tire. What the f boys? These axles aren't even the same f distance apart. Oh, I see what's going on. The weight's right off the tire at the back. Look at that thing in the middle, boys. All the weight's off the tire, you can see right under the tire. I don't know if you can or not, but I can. So. Them little stupid plastic things are holding the weight. That's crazy, eh? So there's no way of checking these until I use them, but I think they're gonna be too far, too, too wide. I think they're too wide, boys. Not by much. Now what I'm gonna do is make some handles for it. Right now. Notice some ropage, eh? Freaking right I am. Should get the old torch out because I'm gonna have to torch the ends. Freaking right, boys. Dude, my hole's tight. Holy, come on. Always one, eh? 
There's always one, boys and girls. There she is. So they're done. Now we just gotta friggin' paint them, eh? Paint them up. Well, there you go, eh? Ten dollar wheel chalk and jack stand, eh? Ten bucks for that piece of wood. So now that will fit where I want it to fit. It will look nice and tidy. It matches the trailer. Freaking right it does. Wheel chocks will match the trailer. No more carrying chunks of pieces of wood around, hey? This is going to be awesome. Now i got to make four for each stand to match. Yeah, I am. And then I'm going to store them somewhere. I'm going to make storage boxes as soon as the warranty's up. So we'll do some of that. But anyways, I just wanted to throw this together real quick and show you what I was doing and stuff like that. And hopefully everybody had a good day. And this one ain't too funny because I was actually doing something for a change, hey? Why wouldn't I? But anyways, thanks for watching and hopefully everybody had a good day and whatnot. And uh, you know what to do for now.